talked about energy and not putting energy out into the world. If you get energy out into the world, you're going to get energy and outcome back. back. And you're going to live a miserable life where you're a grown man that is living off the heyday of the, your military career and all you could do is talk. You know, so let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up. I ain't never you know give it up. You know I'm going to take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. I ain't never so let me break, 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 break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up. I ain't never you know give it up. You know I'm going to take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about Welcome to a new episode of Breaking the Cycle Podcast. Back, brother. Today we're what? going. What did you think I was going to say? Nothing. Watch the language, kid. All right, let's go. What do we got today? Today we're going to be discussing the second category of decaf, which is something that we rate ourselves every single night on, and it's an acronym for. Discipline, energy, confidence, action, and freak. And today we're going to be going off of the second letter, E for energy. And we're going to dive deep into how we rate ourselves and that we're supposed to rate ourselves every night. And we don't do it. If we if we get it 80% of the time, I'll say sometimes we maybe don't get it done, but we would like to get it done every night. We don't do it. So just everything that we do, nothing's ever perfect. No one's ever perfect. We miss it some days. But with this episode is obviously our sign to get on tra- back on track and make it happen starting today so e for energy but before we do that you have a joke for us who wants to start with a joke oh my god plot twist if you guys are new to btc lately he's been getting jokes for us it's it's scary all right so got some extracurricular activity with the dogs going on over there out the window that we see they're kind of i don't know humping each other and stuff but that's all right (laughs) Let's uh, go on with the show. The show must yeah. the show must let's go, go on. on. All right. So let's see. I have a couple of good ones. Oh, it these goes in the middle. These are I, I stopped relying on the Discord AI for jokes because Discord AI is like, hey, can I get any good cheesy jokes? And it's like, uh, okay, like what 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 kind what world. kind of what kind of jokes are you looking for? And then I say I say like what kind so of. So I pay for a service. For? I pay for a service, an AI service. I it, say what I'm looking for, and then it says. We have no past history of No, this questions. is worse. I paid for like 15 or 20 bucks a month for this one. And so I got asked it for a joke and it gave me a joke and it says, would you like another riddle? And I said, yes. It, it gives you options to answer the question. So it says, yes, I would like another riddle. So I click on the option they gave me in the conversation. And when I click, yes, I want another riddle. It says, we don't have anymore. We haven't, you haven't given me a riddle in the first place to start off with. So I don't know what you're talking about. What kind of riddle would you like? After it just asked me if I want another riddle, like it, they updated it where it asks you a question and it gives you options to answer like a multiple choice. AI? And it doesn't even recognize the multiple choice that it freaking gave me, but it's supposed to be AI. This is where this AI world is going. AI doesn't remember history. It the second you said this is where the world is going, just totally canceled our entire episode. This is where the world is going. I think a lot of our, our commenters on Instagrams and stuff are AI because they can't be humans actually thinking like Those can't be grown men that are hating and talking crap about kids. There's grown men on the internet that go on our on my videos for the project. Talking to you, Cameron Steinhardt. No, they've gotten worse. They've gotten worse. And Preston Bernardi. Oh, those guys are like kindergartner amateur hour compared to the new ones. They yeah. they go on and say that I'm on steroids and I'm skinny and I'm gay and I use the N word. Some today say out of nowhere, some guy just says, I guarantee you use the N word with a strong R at the end. Guaranteed. Yeah. Out of if nowhere. He said some of those comments. He on said here. that he says that my son is gay. He said my wife is a man. Like these, these kind of things people say, like a grown man. And he didn't say anything. A grown man who says, and then talks crap about me for in the military because I wasn't in combat. And I, and then they ask, well, what was your job in the, in the military? So I just always say I was a cook and I put an emoji of a chef hat and I tell him that was my job. You were a weatherman. And, 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 and so I tell him I was a cook. And then since they were, imagine that, like a, a, they were a, a combat veteran and that's what they're doing with their free time now after they did that. That's how they're living their life is talking shit to other men on the internet and talking shit about children on the internet and making racist, sexist jokes on the internet. That's what they've done. So that's messed up, but they, but they were in combat so that they could, Oh, you know, oh yeah, they're good and I'm evil and I'm, I'm I shouldn't be uh, shooting guns. I shouldn't be yelling at people. I shouldn't be training people. I shouldn't be coaching people. I shouldn't have kids. I shouldn't be proud. I shouldn't be an American. I shouldn't be a Marine because so everything you've done in your life should basically be 
wiped off the face of the earth and after then, you got out of the military. Exactly. And then, but then after, since you were in the military and in combat, probably you were just sitting on the sidelines, I don't know, filling up sandbags or something, not even doing anything. Since you did that, you shouldn't do anything the rest of your life. You should just talk about that. That's what you did in your life that you were in combat and then do nothing with your life and just go scroll and scroll and troll on the internet about scroll other people. And troll. Scroll and that's troll. Gotta, it's gotta actually, be a new thing. Scroll shit, and troll. I'm writing that down. That's actually a, a good one. Scroll and troll. The scroll and trollers. They scroll and troll on the internet and just talk about other people about what they did 30, that's very 30 good. 20 years ago, what they did in the military, but they've done nothing since and they don't can't handle other people doing things nowadays. Um, that's it's all about energy. This is the energy. Wait, how They're, did this? How did this even come up? We were supposed to. You were supposed to give us a joke. Well, because this is about energy. The, oh, because we went to AI, and that's where the world. Like I was thinking about. Uh, we we talked about this oh where the God. world where the world the is going. Con- the 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 places conversations can go. Well, because we said the write way- that down. The places conversations can go. Uh, real deep, real deep, there, kid. Stop pushing me. <laughs> Little notes so, gone under the table over here. So. Usually it's me saying, shut the hell up. Stop wiggling. Stop, Stop. babbling. You're talking so, too much. All right, so actually, we want to hear a joke. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I want to say something real quick on the topic we were just talking about. Oh, but it's about energy. That is about energy. Putting the, the shitty energy out into the world, and then you have this bad life, this miserable life, and you wonder why. It's because you, if you put shit energy, this is all about energy today. You give shit energy to the world, to the universe, you're going to get shit energy back. And you have to continue giving good energy. Those dudes might have given good energy 20 years ago, like Al Bundy scoring four touchdowns at Polk High School like 20 years ago in the military. But you, if they're not giving good energy now, they're miserable. and it's they no see good, It's no use. They see people out there actually doing stuff, trying stuff, putting themselves out there, and they're putting shit energy into the world, and they're getting shit energy back from the universe. And that's why they're miserable and unha- unhappy. So that's what this is all about. It's about freaking energy. So what I want to say is that th- this grown man on Tyson's YouTube channel, it, like... So we were at the shooting range. Or oh was, wait, no, no, no. That's that's for another. Machine. That's for another episode. Whatever. Hate. Go ahead. It was. It was at a. Mach- it was at machine. There's guns so much hating Ve- going on. We could bring it up every single episode. It, it was at machine guns Vegas. I wasn't there, but I just saw one of the videos on Tyson's YouTube channel. It, it was him shooting this like really. I think it was AK, right? AK forty seven. I'm pretty sure. And it said. And it said, this was one of the best moments of my life. And then in the comments, some grown man said, if this was one of the best moments of your life, then your life must be pretty mo- boring. Yeah, I actually have that comment right here. It was when I was shooting a military M4. Let's find it. Auto- so, yeah. Fully automatic, right? It said, uh, the title of the video was, this is one of the coolest moments of my life. And it just said, full auto M4. Ty- and then, oh, it was M4. And then some guy... Z Blair seven two one eight. All right, it's a bullshit said, name. Who cares? If this was the one of the coolest moments of your life, you have a boring life. So what is he doing? Like dropping nuclear bombs on places or so? What is he doing? That's so exciting. Uh, uh, anyway, anyway, yeah, it's called and haters. We got some more comments, but that's for the comment. That's called haters. That's for the we got hater. enough on the haters today. We got enough on the haters. Yeah. They, yeah, they come so up every single day. Literally, can we do the joke now? Oh, joke? right, yeah. run a joke. Who wants to hear a joke? AI came through, even though they couldn't have a conversation. They asked me about more jokes and they didn't even remember that we had a conversation literally like a half a second later. Was this today? Yes, this morning, right when you walked in. I was doing my morning morning work and you knocked. I just finished it and I had to close it up so you couldn't see it. All right, I got two of them. What has to be broken before you can use it? A horse. Ooh, that would be a good, that could be, but no, that's not what Someone's it heart. Jesus. <laughs> Oh my God, this just got so dark good. and deep and you have to break someone's heart before you can use their heart. You're, you, what the hell no, is going no, on I here? I it that way. What is going on here? No. Shoes. No, but Jeez. technically you're using them to break them. Uh, right. A horse. A horse is a good one, but that's not it. I almost would give you a half a Something point for that, that but we'll see. Something that you break before you can use it. All right. Oh shit, 10. Oh, oh I get no. the payback suckers. Oh, no. Where's the button? Where's the shitty button? The green one? All right, yeah, because I'm getting payback. I'm putting my finger on that for you suckers because I know you're going to mess oh, this up. For some reason, it's called Mary. Nine, eight. Stop seven, counting. It's broken before it can be used. Now, you guys do this all the time to me. You interrupt You interrupt me. You put the pressure on me. You put Stallion? a Stallion? You put a bu- your finger on the button to give me that big freaking missing a question. A box? Button. All right, I'll give you a hint. We use this thing pretty much every day. I definitely do, and you use it like half of the time. I use this thing every day. Night. Journal. All right, I'll give you even uh, more. No, 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 no. I have this thing every night. I eat this thing every Protein night. Shake. 
blender? <laughs> Failure. Eggs must be broken before you can use it. An egg, suckers. I eat eggs every single night. That's my dinner every night. 10 to 12 egg whites is my dinner. Yes, I eat eggs for dinner. That like, makes so much sense. That's a good one. Hey, I gave me that one the first wow. try. Do you have that any more? Good one. Oh, I Horse sure do. Horse and egg can more. both be an answer oh, for yeah. it. Only one more. Oh, I sure do. I only have one more. Well, you have two more. All right, let's get on with the show. Energy. Yeah. Energy. We already talked about shit energy and not putting shit energy out into the world. If you put shit energy out into the world, you're going to get shit energy and outcome back. back. And you're going to live a miserable life where you're a grown man that is living off the heyday of the, your military career. And all you could do is talk what shit is about heyday? other people. Like back in the day, the big things you did a long time ago. Al Bundy and Married with Children. He all his whole life, he was like 50 years old. All he would talk about is they t- scored four touchdowns at Polk High School when he's in high school. And in one game, he scored four touchdowns. And he thought that made his, he didn't have to do anything else for the rest of his life. Like he lived off that accomplishment his entire life. Al Bundy. Al Bundy. If you don't know who Al Bundy is, I just have one question for you. Are you even American? What if they're, like, for some reason, we have, like, a good chunk of viewers that are from, like, some uh, weird Different country, countries. Like, like, Jamaica or something, or Australia. There's, like, there's like one world, guy. This is a world, like, this is worldwide. We have at least, like, nine followers from all over the world. There was one guy who's, like, from Russia or something that commented on no, one of no, our Grand no, Canyon no, videos. No, 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 he no. was like, where is this? But it was, like, in Russian, so he had to translate it. It was really cool. Oh, no, that was on that was on a different one of my shooting video vid, videos. Oh, All right, so let's get into the energy. First off, what does energy mean to you? I want you two to tell me what does energy All right, mean to you. Before we say what it means to us, I just want to say what the what Google said. All right, what energy do you got? means energy is the ability and strength to do active physical things and the feeling that you are full of physical power and life. And that's a physical energy, but is there usually they put alternative? Like, you know, no, I just gave an example and that's it. If you look in other like websites, they'll give you different weight thoughts of energy, like mental energy, whatever, like, you know, not just physical energy. All right. So what does energy mean to you? Other than that, other than the Google version, what does energy mean to you? Who's going up first? For me, energy means like that you're excited to do something. Like if you're about to go do work or if you're about to go do an activity or like whatever you're about to go do, it could be anything. If you're like like dragging your feet to go do it and if you're like not motivated, then you're not having energy to do that. So, yeah, it basically energy means that if you're energy means that if you're like happy to do something? Well, yeah, I heard saying, but that's you're saying on what the thing is cuz you're a positive motivated usually ish type of person right like in, in general in general you're like that i mean you have your moments but in general if you have everybody say, does i think some more than i hope a, some more than some, others, more, than some others. more than others or some less than others but you're saying it automatically listen to how we're saying energy i'm gonna give you mine or give you part of mine like enthusiasm endurance strength durability passion but think about it we're saying this stuff is energy but is that the only type of energy there is what about these tools on the internet that are the talking trollers. shit about kids the stroll controllers what are you call them scroll controllers that's bad energy so we're just automatically thinking positive thinking positive without even realizing it. you don't even realize that that those you're, people are the default negative we're the default positive they're oh, going default wait, negative so i have a i have a i have a different kind of question for all of you what is your negative type of energy midge look all right go ahead if i don't want to write down my thought go ahead what do you got go go speak Pod, podcast means uncomfortableness. No, it doesn't. Well, you don't have negative energy. We just talked about it. Scrolling trollers, things like that. And, and people who just are miserable and they're putting that nasty, toxic energy into the, or attitude into the world. I'll give you an example of a nasty energy. This isn't even on my notes or anything. I'm just thinking of what you say. It. I talked about recently. We, meet, we were doing a, a leadership workshop in Atlanta. And my introduction, it talks about, and it's also to tell them about like work-life balance, about not stressing so much and making sure they're taking care of their family still and not working where they're neglecting their family or neglecting their health. We always tie this health and family stuff into their work and their leadership. Follow me so far? So I do my introduction and I kind of mention that stuff and talk about their calendar. And if I would ask you to look at your calendar, how much is it personal, professional? And I go into this little introduction I have and it's like for them to open their minds like, oh, aha, yeah, I'm not doing enough of this or I'm not taking care of myself. I'm doing too much of this. The first 30 seconds. And this is like a 
might have been a one day or two. I think it was just a one day, but still it's a full day, like a nine, 10 hour day that I'm going to be with this group. 30 seconds into my introduction, some guy raises his hands and starts making noises. And no one ever asks a question during an introduction. Literally, I'm just introducing myself, what we're going to be doing here today. And this guy's already stopping me and interrupting me. He says, oh, this is, I don't believe in this. This is a bunch of kumbaya bullshit. We're sitting around and all this other stuff. Like, I, I never heard you imagine, that before. Imagine flying across the country to go speak to a company that they're paying you a lot of money to come and do. And they're, I've never said a guy say kumbaya. Kum, oh, he used kumbaya about five times in this, in this day. He kept saying it every time that Was I said something. Was he Hawaiian? Oh, kumbaya, I don't think he's Hawaiian. It sounds like it. <laughs> kumbaya is like hippie-ish kind of thing. A bunch of hippies sitting around a fire, like holding hands, chanting. No offense like, if you're Hawaiian. They're thinking that like that's the so kind of- so offense. If you ever say no offense to someone, you're probably, it's obviously well, I mean, I don't, offensive. I don't, I don't mean to be an asshole, but well, probably what you're about to say means you're going to be an asshole if you're saying that. Anyway, so imagine 30 seconds into this thing and I have to spend this whole day and it's hard enough you're going as a stranger to go and, and work with these people, coach them, teach them and work with their whole team. So it's a little weird in the beginning to get, get them to get to know you. Imagine someone just cutting you off in your introduction and this is, he brought the energy down the whole place. The whole first half of the day, luckily he had to leave at lunchtime and go somewhere and wasn't there for the second half of the day and the second half of the day went awesome where they had tons of breakthroughs and they had growth and development that second half of the day but the whole first half of the day, Every single talk we had, lesson that we had, conversation we kumbaya. had, he'd interrupt and talk about kumbaya and no, that's not how it works. Oh, I don't believe in that. No, I don't agree with that at all. No, that's wrong. That's not how it is. Imagine it's like, that. Uh, no offense, but we just went to Poland. No offense. <laughs> no, we just went to Poland and something that I've noticed there, everyone says their thoughts. Like literally everyone. You know how you have like thoughts about other people? Like the you movie, like bad them. dads, bad dads. Oh, oh old, no, old, old dads. dads, old dads. With a we dude recommend this. watching it if you're old dads. If you haven't seen it, one of the, the funniest movies we've seen in a long time. Yep. So we go and literally everyone says their thoughts. Everyone's just walking around saying their thoughts and it's really weird. And yeah, so it's, it's speaking their minds without having any filter. So that, that's bad energy. He brought the, and this was like 30 people there that paid a lot of money for to be there. He brought the energy level down and the attitude down for the entire whole first day. One person can drag the energy of an entire group, an entire world, an entire country probably down with bad energy. Well, I think that probably goes on in this country a lot with one person dragging the energy down of the country or one governor in a certain state dragging the energy down with different gun laws. But that's a whole nother story. Anyway, yeah, this could go sideways real quick. We take this conversation different Want to hear a joke? Real quick. We didn't even get into this. We're too soon for another joke. But what, and in a minute, let's get let's let's finish off. So, yeah, let's, so that was about bad energy because we're talking about giving an example of bad energy. But what do you have any examples of good energy? Tell me an example of a good energy you might have. A good energy someone might have is like when they're going to meet up with someone. I mean, you do you have a story of energy? Oh yes, you have I anything do. to share about yourself and energy and. So I am actually very energetic. Like, when we were about to take our flight to go to Poland, I didn't really like the time of the flight. It was, like, at 10 p.m., but I was just really excited Your to Your problem go is see you get family. energy at the wrong time. You get, like, this crackhead energy. At, like, 2 a.m., you'll get this, like, crackhead energy. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that kind of energy, we're in Poland. I got the literal worst sleep ever in Poland because you... You decide the first morning we're there. We so we landed at eight, and we have to. We didn't work out that day yet, so we work out at like nine p.m. and we go to sleep. We have to wake up at like seven the next day, and you decide, oh, I'm hungry and I want some eggs. So you wake up at four in the morning to go wake up mommy to say, can you make me some eggs, please? That happened. wow, that sounds so rough. You had to get up at four in the morning too because here you heard someone making eggs. Rough life, kid. Who's gonna carry the boats? Oh, my God. Stay hard. <laughs> no, but it was the first night. Anyway, she was telling a story before she yes. was rudely Credits. interrupted with, Credits your, today with, your, with your stressful Credits life of having to get up at 4 a.m. to eat some freaking eggs. Man. All right. So, Problem? I'm well, always very energetic. Outside, kid. I'm al always very energetic, like I said, when we were going to meet up with family. Shout out to all my crackheads. And we only, we only go to Poland once a year. We've, I don't think we've ever gone twice. Maybe once we did twice in a year. Mm. So we don't really get to see them that often. And whenever someone calls my great-grandma, 
She thinks that the hang up button, like the decline button, is the same as the pick up button. So we today was the first time we actually ever got on a call with her for like a really long time. So I'm just really energetic when I get to call. Well, what does her hanging up on you have to do with the energy? Yeah. No, but I'm just saying that it's great that we can finally actually talk to her. And I'm also really excited whenever I call my grandma from New York, which is daddy's mom, because we don't really get to see her that much. Maybe a little bit more often, but. So that was an energy story? That was an energy story? Yeah, How, What family. is it? Well, what about it? That you have energy when you're talking to family, when you're interacting with family. Yeah. yeah, you will talk to my mother and you two will be rambling because she'll just babble all day. You two will be talking about anything. We should have a podcast together. Oh my God. It'll either like skyrocket or it'll like. I was telling her that she should start her own YouTube channel because she Oh God, would be, that thing would blow up. Oh no. It would blow up. Holy Imagine, shit. She had her own YouTube channel? People think it's fake. Grandma Jean. Grandma Jean's. Day in the life of Grandma Jean. All right, uh, you're gonna Grandma Jean start, bonding me, start with, with the hamster. joke. I'll be I'm gonna be right back for this commercial message. Okay. Okay. Hear the joke. Oh yeah, I see what commercial message he's going to deliver. Well, anyway, want to hear a joke? Which we already established that you do. All right. I'm Why gonna... did the girl sit on her watch? <laughs> Wait, what can you say again, please? Why did the girl sit on her watch? Uh, I don't. I don't think the cursed commercial messenger deliverer heard that joke. Wait, what? Can you say it again? Why did the girl sit on her watch to keep track of time? To sit on time? To to wait? This was for the messenger. This is. For- Why did the girl sit on her watch? This little commercial break was time for you guys to post in the chat. So, like, comment so before take you care of some technical difficulties before with the you zoo look animals. ahead. Before you look ahead in the video and cheat, and then put in the real answer in the chat during this commercial break. Just post your answer. All right, can in I hear the joke? That. I didn't hear the joke. I was always taking care of some. Why did the girl sit on her watch? Should <sighs> Big butt? I don't know. Oh. No. I didn't hear the question. I was oh, de- dealing with the, all the Stoller. animals. Stoller! Jesus, you can't be getting that close and screaming in that shit. Sorry. I think the Hold on, no. The I had to take care of all your Why pets because did- you have a whole freaking zoo in this house. We just added some Oh, yeah, we pets. just got a guinea pig. A guinea pig and a third dog like within the same week. All right, say it one more time, a little slower just so I could process it. Why Wait. did the girl sit This isn't on a her snow cone. Walk. You don't have to like have it all up like I know, like face. you're like... It's too freaking loud and like... Okay. Sit. Now you're going to go on the other side of town instead. Why did the girl sit? Right, I can't hear you now because you're like on the other side. Why did the girl sit on her watch? <laughs> She, why did the girl sit on her watch? She was watching time, time still, sitting, sit, babysitting. To keep track of time? Sit, sit on time? St- you don't know it? Oh, you're trying to figure it out too? No, he looked at my thing earlier and he's just pretending. I'm figuring this out. It's, it's me against you too. Yeah, I know. So I stop. don't know the joke either. We'll stop trying to give an answer. Why did the girl sit on her watch to watch time, to sit on time, just to freeze time, to so time to stay still, to stand still? Am I on any kind of track of anything? All right, I have no clue. What? Okay, I I wasn't even holding my finger on it. What do you... Oh, yeah, give me a hint. What do you want to be whenever you're meeting with someone? So she's on time? So she'll be on time. That is dumb. That is just horrible. Oh, my God. That is horrible. All right. Okay, I thought it said on your notebook, I was looking at the answer. I thought it said, because she wanted to be anti-me. All right, so yeah, what, do, what, do you have, have what do you have to tell us about energy? Any personal stories about energy? Why energy is important to you? What you think of when you're judging energy? And, and what, is it, what is it? Yes, so my story for energy, just a few weeks ago, six, eight weeks ago, we went for a trip to Tennessee. There was a men's event going on there where you were like speaking slash leading slash helping out with. And the same time we're going there, we're building... This business, the Infinite Freak Fitness Formula, which is the last... It's going to be released soon. Well, it's already released. It's already released. 
It is the last workout program you're ever going to need. So we're working on that, brainstorming, creating all these things on spreadsheets and folders and all that. And we stayed up 1, 2 in the morning every single day there for 4 or 5 days straight just working on it. And every single day we also have to wake up at 4.30, 4, 5 4.35, the latest, the workouts even earlier when the workout, we had the workout. So, so my energy slash superpower is being active for very long amounts of time, getting little sleep, and then getting back on track. If you have to be, not regularly. Like yes. it's not, and, and mine are, is ex- almost the exact same thing, but how did you be, get to be able to do that? Like we were working all night and then we came home and for another three weeks, we finished this off. This is a workout, a training program, an online training program. You, you buy it one time and you have access to it for life. There is a VIP upgrade. You can pay a small monthly fee and then and get upgrades on it and updates and new content every month. But it's literally the last workout program you ever need for your strength, your cardio, your conditioning. It's a seven-day week program. You can use all year round and never repeat a workout ever again for the rest of your life. Talk about variety. There's customized and personalization. So if you want any information about that, just put a message down in the comments or just email us at the email address below. But as we're working on that, how did you get the ability to be able to function like that? Because we were doing like hard work where it takes so much focus. We had to get into that freak flow with little sleep sometimes for sometimes eight, nine hours in a row. We're just sitting there zoned out saying, how do you do create that ability to be able to do that? The 24 hour challenges, 24 hour challenges and like just working out hard and doing hard stuff and pushing yourself. And so when we're doing these, these stupid 24 hour challenges, people are like, why would you ever do that to yourself? Why would you ever stay up 24 hours and do push ups for 24 hours you or weightlifting for 24 hours? You know, or- what, you know what, you know what David Goggins response to that? Stupid, but not for me or stupid for you or something like that. No, not cause for me. you're not or something. Cause you're not me. Yeah. Or something like that. Cause you're not doing it yourself. No, he's saying cause you're not It's stupid for you or yeah. Cause you're not, yeah, I, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, okay. Keep going. So, Sorry. Same thing for me, like a similar one. I was in New York City doing an event and I had another event the next day in in South Carolina. The flight got delayed and now my last flight was going to be, stop trying to look at my joke there, sucker. The next, I'm the, sorry. The last, I'm so sorry. The next flight was going to be at like 10 p.m. And if that last, last flight got delayed again, I would miss the event next day because we had to be there in South Carolina at eight in the morning. So if the next delay would be the next day, the next flight wouldn't be out until the next day. So I'm sitting there and we're thinking, all right, we... If we miss this flight, we're going to lose it. This is like a $35,000 event we were going to train for, like to coach. And so it's a big event. These people had their entire staff off work for, for us to come train them in leadership, teamwork, development, problem solving, communication, work-life balance, all that same stuff, just like in Atlanta. And so I had to make the decision and say, all right, we're just going to drive. And we just decided right there on the spot from New York City, we're going to drive to South Carolina. We didn't turn the rental car in. We called the rental car place, said we're not dropping off in New York City anymore. We're going to drop it off in South Carolina. They're like, where? We're like South Carolina. Just drove through the night, got there at like 7.30. The thing started at 8. We just changed clothes real quick, quick shower to wake up, drink a freaking bang energy drink and go at it for like 10 straight hours training these people with zero sleep after driving through the entire night. That is... Stop curling that wire around your stank ass toes. So that is exactly... Because it's making our headphones go out too. That's exactly why we do things like the 24-hour challenges. And then when it comes to the project, I have to go and train... You need to work on your energy levels there, kid. That's why I do the project. I have to, for three, four days, I have to stay up almost all night, every night. But it's things like these 24-hour challenges that allow you, you you do hard shit, you train yourself, you get this type of energy levels, and it will give you the, the ability to do things like create a business overnight, to drive through the night to get to a workshop, to run things like the project. We just finished the 18th class of the project. Four and a half years. I've done 18 classes, though. So Wow. 18 times I've had to go through the project myself, those amount of hours of work and hiking and sleep and yelling and screaming and throwing the tables and chairs because I'm such a mean guy. Let me ask you this question. I've been working on on the the railroad. Like that, some reason, do you know the trolls don't know that they get trolled? Like I'm literally trolling them before they troll. I'm like trolling them with a time machine by... Obviously, like look at the song I put on that video of on the rail, like that song. Yeah, it's obviously it's a video I'm, on Instagram, very funny video, or not it, funny, but cool. There's three video. quarters of a million views on that already. Uh, it's I'm trolling them, and they just fall for it all the time, and then they just say all these things. They show their true character, and they're supposed to be. They're telling us in the video, "Oh, you're not real men. Your sons are gay, and your wives are fat, and all this other stuff." But they're real men by talking like that to other people on the internet about kids, because. 
I'm not a man because I'm having some dude crawl on the railroad tracks. And let me ask you this. If there's a program for four days and I put a video of, let's say, 15 seconds of a guy crawling in the dirt, does it make sense to you for someone to say, oh, it costs $18,000 to crawl in the dirt for four days? I could have you come do it in my backyard for free or I could do it myself. What is off about that? That makes total sense. What do you think is off about that sentence? That That's just that thought. The... the- they don't want other people. They are not supporting other people. That too, but what just like they, logically they about this? Themselves. Just the logically rational thought about this idea. That the the they only see fifteen seconds of the entire seventy five hours. It's like on Instagram. I talked about during our freak my freak fit live event about social media. How the average person spends so many hours a day on social media and they compare themselves. Because they see 10 seconds of someone's day and they're like, oh my God, that person has such a great life. Mine's so miserable. I'm depressed now. They'll see 10 seconds. So they'll watch 15 seconds and say, oh, I could crawl. You can come crawl in the dirt for free. Because that's all we're doing for four days straight, just crawling in the dirt, crawling on, playing on the railroad tracks. That's all we're doing. Nothing else. There's no other. Building deep- the railroad tracks. Yeah. I've been working on the rail. That was a hell of a choice of a song that I picked for that. Oh, Trolling the trolls. And then, and then there'll be comments sometimes on those videos. There's like 10 or 12 different grown men going back and forth. You can see the times of when they leave like comments and stuff like within two over two hours time. Just going back and forth. I want to see this after the show. You were going to show this to amongst me. themselves. Hey. A lot of them, I get a lot of them just get blocked and deleted because this is nonsense. They make racist stuff and they talk like nonsense. The ones that have like something that's funny or comical, I might respond to just for fun and get. And also, they're boosting the algorithms up. You have you got us so many app like quality applications. Thank you, trolls. Thank you, haters. We could not. The project can't thank you enough from the bottom of our hearts. You are keeping us alive and kicking. Thank you for getting us all that attention. It's awesome. We're getting tons. No of- wonder this this podcast gets no attention. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Haters, come on. Let's Let, be more let's, polarizing. Yeah, let's talk about the haters on here. Let's go. Let, I'll, I should have you two crawl the railroad tracks. Oh, man. They'll be like, this is child abuse. If, we've worked, I quit. We've worked out before. We've just done workouts before, and people oh, have God. like, oh, that's child abuse because, oh, you're doing jumping jacks, you fat mother effer. Holy crap. Oh, I thought you were going to say that. Was so close. Your face, this is a children's show. Your face is If you're a tomato. child, please do not watch know, Old Dads. You don't feel how hot it is in here with these lights on us, and I have this sweatshirt on for some reason and you've been yelling because they're getting me all fired up it's called energy it's called energy Ex- putting that energy out into thank the world thank you haters thank you haters but Talk energy energy is a superpower of mine on. too that i could take anything something long and grueling and shitty and turn it into fun turn it into a superpower like having to drive all through the night and i'll or having to be uh, stuck alone in a hotel room like when you guys go away to, to Poland I'm home alone for two weeks I'm so sad and lonely I could sit here and just zone in and focus out and have the discipline and energy to just attack that business and literally we started a new business in days of just I don't I don't know how you can't like it when we're here I don't even know how you can get lonely if we have nine animals here three dogs no shit I just spent three the whole hamsters, day one snake, one turtle, and one guinea pig. I spent the whole day like I'm a freaking zookeeper. I'm just like chasing after animals all day. So sometimes we did these like funny things where we asked each other if our dogs could work out, if our dogs could play video games, like what would they be playing? And also if our dogs had jobs for us, Ricky, our dog, he loves the hamsters, he loves the guinea pig, so he'd be a zookeeper. That we think that if he had I was a zookeeper off. when you guys were away. It's all I did is took care of these damn animals. And then they're water. And then got to feed them. Then got to take them out. And then got to do this and that. And then the new puppy is just there. And he's shitting all over the place. Shitting on top of his shit. So I'm cleaning shit on top of shit. And, and you know what you did? You left it all and waited two weeks for us to come back. Well, I wasn't going to clean it up. So I just figured I'll leave them all around the house for you guys. Some of them were a little dry and stuck to the ground. And there were sometimes there was shit. A little. Sometimes there was shit on top of the piss. But that's what you got to deal with sometimes. Anyway, who wants to hear a joke? We got to wrap this up. It's like a moat around the mountain. So energy. This is all about energy. <laughs> Not putting shitty energy out into the world. Understanding what energy is and then yeah. learning to, to weaponize your energy and turn it even to a superpower. Like we, are, we have the capability. We make hard stuff fun because we have that energy. That, that training for hard stuff and suffering that like we've talked about in previous episodes gives us the energy to then make the hard stuff easy and the hard stuff fun. And, and actually then get paid to do the hard stuff, like the project. That's how I'm able to do the project. I'm able to go and drive all through the night, able to deal with the energy of some some doof that's bringing shitty energy into a, into a, a group. Like, 
taking the hard stuff and the negative energy and just overpowering and swamping it with positive, focused, energetic, motivated, enthusiastic, door endurable, strong, passionate, freaking energy. That's what we're talking about. But who wants to hear Joe because we wrap things up here? Me. You yawn again, and we're gonna be outside fit fight, fist fight, little girl. She, like, geez. oh, remember I sent you a bunch gonna, of head energy. You're gonna, you're gonna remember, punch a, a girl. Remember I sent you that gif where it was like that little. Is it a gif or a gif or a gif? I say gif. You know, I sent you that gif of that little girl, like that tiny toddler doing karaoke, and he was like. Oh, and yeah. then, like, that looks like you. And you said, we're going to be fighting. That was, actually when I was on a, that was like a few projects ago. I was on the hike. I remember when that happened. I saw it. I'm like, oh, we're fighting. Me and that kid are fighting. <laughs> I was actually on a hike during one of the projects, like three, three or four classes ago. I remember that. All right. Joke to wrap things up. You guys failed on the first one. The first one was definitely figure outable, and it was a good one. Let's see. I do not need this. What, Horse and egg. What gets harder to catch? See, and I also asked for jokes on energy. Get how the, the egg was kind of energy because it was like nutrition, and that's what they came up with. And this one is definitely, or whatever. What gets harder to catch the faster you run? Lightning. What? What gets harder to catch the faster you run, suckers? Speed. Nine. Eight. Overweightness? Seven, Literally six, any animal. Five. Four. Three. Yeah, now it's like to have this pressure. Why are you kicking like you're going to piss yourself? You can't handle the pressure of a Lightning. countdown. Lightning. Because I am. I'm going to hit the button. I don't, I don't know. know. why it's called Mary, that button, but... Two, one, and fail. All right, I'll give you a hint. You said overweight. Kind of can have to do that because they have a harder time catching this. Jesus, no. This is a family show. He's going to piss himself. We should tickle him right here live on TV. Stop. He's going to really, I don't want pissing on the camera. All right. If someone was overweight, they'd have even a harder time catching this when they're running. Energy. Their breath. Their breath. I got half a point. I win. I gave Woo-hoo! you like, I basically said the answer for you there. I gave you like. No, the, you didn't. Their breath. The harder you run, the, the harder it is to catch. What's the matter? I'm out of We're here. not done. We got to do the finish off no, the show. Stop. Oh, yeah. Stop. Submit. Stop. Or else. He's going to piss himself and she's going to tickle. Stop. He's going to piss live on the air just for you. It's going to look like it looked like when I was. No. no, it's good. It's payback. For me. Pissing to clean just for you. With nine animals pissing and crapping all over the damn house. And you guys are going, you leave me home alone with nine animals. Holy crap. Midge, you are done. All right, let's wrap this up. It's been another episode of you the You clapped Breaking your microphone. Ha ha. Take them. Okay. Take them home. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Do Smash that subscribe button. Click the notifications bell. So you never miss out on any future videos. And check out all of our other recommended channels. Check out all of our other content. See you next time. And we'll see you next time. We... And if you want to know more about the formula, make sure you put a comment down below or use the email. The Infinite Freak Fitness Formula, the last workout program you will ever need. It generates millions and millions of workouts that you can create. Probably and that, billions. And that are created for you. If Just put a comment down below or use the email down below. We are out. So let me break, break, break it all down for you I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you I ain't worried about you, I ain't never giving up So let me break, break, break it all down for you I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you